Hello, RC Design readers and watchers. Welcome to RC Design's YouTube channel. This is our July article, Tiny Houses Lifestyle Part 1. Prep work before designing the tiny house. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Our key points are know your budget, hire the right crew, visit the site, and last, have pre-design meetings. Know your budget. Why is this important? Your budget will have a big influence on what kind of tiny house you'll build. Our checklist is important to know how much you're going to spend for each item. We have wall material, welding, foundation, insulation, roofing, flooring, interior design, meaning furniture, windows, doors, painting, and last, landscaping hire the right crew your checklist should be they must be experienced in the field they must be flexible to work with others they must have different options and possibilities during the design and building phase they must have the degree for this the crew the welder. When choosing a certain kind of building material, you must know that the welder will be needed. Because not everything can be welded and knowing what is possible helps you. Find a contractor. Make sure to find a contractor that has built smaller houses in different kind of building material styles. And make sure to include them from the begin phase already for insurance of designing something that is possible to build. Find a construction engineer. I would advise to use a construction engineer even if the house has one story. Make sure the right foundation is used and that is important. Also, they can advise you on the possible roofing, wall, construction, etc. before the design itself. Find an architectural engineer slash designer. I would advise to use a designer who has experience with the building materials you want to use. They also must design with in mind building must be possible financially plus constructively and choosing somebody with the mindset of using building physics for our tropical climate will be a plus. Find a technical installer. When we're talking about technical installer, we're talking about the plumbing, um, people who do the air conditioner, the electrician, um, the lighting system, the drainage, the gas line, everything that has to do with the technical side, you need the right people for this. Because we are talking about tiny houses, I would advise use installers who are experienced with unique plumbing, unique electrical and gas installations. Visit the site. Check the soil. Knowing the soil may directly give you a foundation possibility from the start. Check the wind direction. The wind direction gives you an indication of the needed situation of the house layout. This also gives you an idea how to create a good ventilation and less noise if you use metal walls. Check the sunrise. Remember the opposite direction of the sunrise is the hottest side of the house because the sun is hotter during the afternoon. Check the rain side. This is also important when designing and building your house in general. Check your drainage possibility. We are talking about your plumbing of the house and also if your site floods during heavy rain seasons. It's important to keep in mind when deciding your ground floor level. The last step for 
your prep work when designing a tiny house should be having a pre-designed meeting. What should you discuss during this meeting? You should discuss the foundation, the building choice material for the walls, the roof possibilities, and last, the building physics requirement. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow all our social media outlets. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook on at RC Designs 2016. Don't forget to subscribe and to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for all your notifications and all our new content. And last but not least, don't forget to follow our new blog, rcdesignsblog.blogspot.com.